Welcome to another tutorial. Today we start a new game design series and I show you now how to make an animated main menu with logo and play button. And we will do it right now. Alright, and today, very special for this tutorial, I create a new project and we can use this project for other tutorials where I can show you how to create all the other UIs you need in your game. And we want to do it in a platformer. And I will name this project Action Bro Adventure. And in another tutorial, you will find out why. And this template already has a main menu UI. And here we can change the game logo. We will change it later. First we go to the button, to the play button. And this button we also we change this button now. I want to use my own stylish button for this. We go here to the delete button and then to my folder and drop in another play button. And that looks much better. And we shrink it down a little bit. 0.5 and move it a little bit down and then we have the image selected field here there we can uh, drop in another style from this button that means when the button is pushed and I can show you how we can change this button a little bit I use GIMP, this is a good program and it's for free, it is like Photoshop and we drop in this uh, play button and the image is selected, we have a transparent background, then we go to the colors here and then we go to lightning and then we change it a little bit. I think we make it much darker okay and then we export it as a PNG image and name it group ah oh, no group A Export and one more time and now it is ready. Now we have another button style and we can, where it is, it is exactly here. This is the other button and we drop it in, give it a try. And look there. Now the button changes the style when the button is pressed. And now when the button is selected, we click on the animation editor. And here we can choose between these three options, the open, the idle and the close animation. The open animation, that, that means the animation when, uh, when starts the UI, what is happening 
with this button. And we change this into 100 frames now. And I want that the button is shining in, like it's fading in with an uh, and changes the opacity. And we start and record this animation and now we change the opacity from frame 0 into 0. And then let's go to frame number 10 and now we change the opacity into 1. And here it is again. And here you can uh, make a preview in inside of the image editor to see the animation works correctly. But let's try it in the preview mode. You can see. Let's do it one more time here. And it is a little bit too fast. Yeah. We have only 10 frames and uh, we have to change this. Let's try it 20. And it is left. Let's go to 40. We move same to frame number 40. And that looks great now. Now we have a slow fading effect and this is what we want. Alright and now I want that the idle animation is something like a heartbeat, like this, uh, this button is pumping like a heartbeat. And then we change it into idle. And here we have to we have to change the scale from the X and the Y direction, but at first we change the frames. And now we click on record. And we have to key the first key, the first uh, frame that we use. So we can delete it and fill in 0.5 again. So we have exactly this scale from 0.5 when the idle is starting. And then we go to frame we go to frame 60. And now we change it into 0 or let's do it with 1 at first x and y direction and move this into 61 so we have 20 frames and now we go to frame 81 and change it again back to 0 0.5 and then we turn off the record button and give it a try okay that works pretty fine but it is a little bit too late it starts a little bit too late so we have to change the keyframes let's move this keyframe on, on 41 in into frame 21 and 40 and 61 we, we move it into 41 and the 81 we move to 61 And give it a try. Look there. <laughs> we have to change the other direction as well. 
we go to Y direction and here we have to do the same we move this into 4 into 21 and this frame into 41 and this frame to 61 and give it a try Now it looks good, but it is still a little bit too late. Now we move this frame from 21 into frame 1 and from 41 to 21 and from 61 to 41. Same thing we do in the X direction. and give it a try. All right, pretty cool. And let's click on loop. And now we have this cool looped animation. A cool idle animation in the main menu. Okay, and now, now we want to delete this platformer font and drop in a new logo. I have that, we drop this in as an image and now here it is, the Action Bro Adventure. And size it down into 0 0.3, that looks good. And we place it here and then we go to Open Animation. And I want that this animation, that this logo comes down from the top. At first we copy the X direction. And then we turn on the record button. Then we grab the logo and move it up. Now we already have a frame, we have the frame keyed and paste in the X direction. And let's go to frame 20 and let's move it down. It's not important we do it exactly in the X direction because we have uh, copied the X direction and we can place it here and here. Now it is perfect. Now it comes down. After the UI is starting. And then I want the bouncing effect from the bottom back to the top, not complete to the top, only a little bit. And we go to frame 30. And now let's move the logo a little bit up. And here we paste in the X direction. And then we go to frame 40 to make the next, next uh, keyframe there. And we copy the Y direction from frame 20. 
and paste it in at frame 40. And then the next key frame is on frame 50. And here we paste in the X direction. And then we go to frame 60. It is okay, we have don't have to change it again. And then we copy Y direction again and paste it in on frame 70. Turn off the record button and give it a try. Maybe a little bit too fast, but it looks good. But we have to change a little bit from the play button because the scale is a little bit too big. So then we go back and select the play button and then we go to the idle animation and now we change the X and the Y direction, the scale. And here we have, uh, yeah, first we click on the record button and the first frame, the first keyframe, we use the 0.5, that's okay, but then we go to 21 and change this into 0.7 and also at the Y direction and it is okay. Frame 41 is okay. Zero point seven. Turn off the record button and give it a try. Now that looks pretty cool. That's what we want. In my next tutorials I use this project to show you step by step everything what it takes to make a very cool game. If you found this tutorial was helpful then give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.